so shiny! Hey there, strangers, my name's Neos, and welcome back once again to Cortex Command. And welcome to the new channel. To everybody who joined me from the, uh, the last channel, hey, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. And if this is your first video of mine on this channel, um, maybe you managed to find the very first Cortex Command video, but hey, you're in for a treat, because today we're going to be doing something special. So, after I uh, decided to reboot the channel, I was like, you know what, I should really start with some Cortex Command, because despite the fact this is a new channel, I'm still the Cortex Command guy, but I wanted to do something, um, something special. Not just the same thing again. And I think I have just the thing in mind. Something that people have been asking for for quite some time. Today, we are going to take a look at Unmapped Lands 2. A total conversion mod, and the second one I've ever actually taken a look at on, not this channel, in any of my channels, on YouTube in general. Uh, last time I took a look at the Void Wanderers mod, which basically it made you uh, fly around in space. It was pretty cool. Basically turned it into um, an FTL style game. This one right here, Unmapped Lands 2, as we will see, I'm gonna leave it on medium, I believe. Yes, because I have never actually played this right here. I, I don't think any of this stuff will actually matter, to be perfectly honest. We'll find out as we go. But I haven't actually played this. I did intentionally uh, take the time to watch someone else's videos just for the first couple to just figure out how this worked exactly, because this is a rather, rather intricate mod. It's pretty cool. But as you can see, Unmapped Lands this is very similar to how the, um, the, uh, the space one I just mentioned, <laughs> I suddenly forgot the name of. Void Wonders, there you go. I uh, looked where it just had this uh, this background, which I didn't know what it was from. It's actually from the, the intro cutscene of when Cortex Command starts. Kind of interesting. So what do you say we get started here? So, uh, ooh, ooh, oh no. Uh, gun? Gun, how you doing there? Okay, goodbye. See you later. <laughs> okay, so, um, I still have most of my mods. Actually, I had every mod that was on my final Cortex Command episode, back from my Neos Format channel, uh, is actually still installed. And, uh, so we have some extra factions. So normally you would only have the Coalition, the Dummy Army, the Ronin, the Brown Coats, the Imperatus, and the Tekion. I believe those are all the basic types. Imperial Guard, the Sergals, the, oh, this guy right here is, uh, that's Imperial Guard. This guy's Ultramarine, that's Sergal. Um, Brotherhood of Nod, yeah. Uh, GDI, oh no. And then Biohazard are all modded factions that, um, are apparently supported by this mod. It's pretty cool. So, if you've never seen a Cortex Command video or never played it, I would highly suggest you go check my, uh, my previous Cortex Command videos on my other channel, which I'll actually link down in the description below in case you're curious about that, because this right here is not going to be Cortex Command exactly. It's a very, it's a very interesting little mod. Um, so first off, we have to decide on a faction that we want to play as. I'm going to be going as my dudes, the brown coats, because brown coats are they're expensive, but they're also heavy duty and pretty powerful. They're the guys I like to use. But as you can see, all of these guys actually have bonuses up there. So a bonus to uh, delivery time minus twenty five percent, target time minus twenty five percent, and body prices at minus ten percent if you're playing as the coalition. Uh, the dummies are these. That's that one. That's something I can read all these. We're gonna show them to you right there. There's that, and there is that. So I'm playing as brown coats. See, strong mercenary group, uh, who are fearsome when confronted up close. Uh, what they lack in range is made up far in durability, allowing them to close distance, wait, allowing them to close distance, uh, while soaking bullets. Yeah, that seems good for me. So bonus is, uh, relations plus 50%. Hey, people are gonna like me more, that's cool. Uh, mining plus 5%, science plus 5%, delivery time minus 25%, item prices minus 5%, and body prices minus 5%. That seems like a really good faction. That is what we're going to play as. It can be a bit of a slow start here. I apologize. I just want to show off this thing. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to showcase this because it seems pretty cool. So, who do we want as our allies? The GI. I'm going to try not to use any of the modded factions for this run. Maybe in the future, but for now, we're going to go with the, the basic guys right here. So, I think I'm going to use... Uh, Coalition will be our allies. They're the most basic dudes right here. The guys I played in the... Um, uh, my final episode, once again, would be playing against the dummies. Absolutely against the dummies. The dummies are my enemy. I've deemed it so. Plays against the Imperatus and the Tekion, which I believe are part of the basic ones, if they're not, I'm sorry. We're going to play against robots. Basically, it's going to be us against the robots. That's what we're going to do. That seems like fun. And away we go. Now we got to stop time. First things first, we got to stop time. So, this right here, this total conversion mod basically turns Cortex Command into a combination of Cortex Command with, um, uh, XCOM and Risk. That sounds crazy, and it kind of is. It's kind of neat. So this right here, this is the area that we control, this blue section right here. So you can see whenever you mouse over each of these segments, they will actually, 
you shrink or lower. It's kind of backwards. Usually in these sorts of games, they raise up so you can see them. They kind of shrink underneath the map. This is actually just the, the Cortex Command, like, intro screen map. That's actually kind of neat that they actually utilize that. So, what we can do from here is we uh, basically have to build up our forces. We have to take over other lands, these unmapped lands, as it were. By the way, this is unmapped lands 2. I have no idea if there even is an unmapped lands 1. I only ever see 2 listed. Um, and we have to strategize. So, okay, so this is our money we've got. We have 2,000 gold. We have no income, no science income, no intel, no diplomacy. So what do you say we go over to... I'm trying to remember exactly those words. If I click on my dues, there we go. Okay, so we currently own this. We have no intelligence. I believe, let's see, what are these things? Uh, we have five, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different uh, resources here that I can't remember exactly what are. Uh, okay, so blueprints, equipment. There we go. Ah, here we go. So first off, we can actually uh, build our troops. So you can actually preset your troops. I should actually point out this one over here. If we go to blueprints, here is all of your um, bodies and equipment. You will actually use resources and so basically use resources to buy any of these. We also use your uh, your science points in order to unlock them. So this one right here, as it shows over on the right here, if I want to buy the medium digger, it will actually um, it'll cost 40 gold, but it costs 500 science in order to unlock it. So currently I only have the light digger, the HG10 stinger, the <laughs> the AR25 hammer fist, and a basic um, this guy right here doesn't actually say his name, does it? No, it does not. And the basic dude right there, I guess we got light and heavy. I believe those are the only two of this uh, faction. Then we got a couple of walkers here. Ooh, a Healy bot. That's good. And basically, we only have this one guy equipped at the moment. And we only have 2,000 gold. So, what we're going to do here is we go over to this. We will have defenders. Our defenders are going to be the guys who, um, whenever we are attacked, these are the guys that the game will auto build and put into my base. Uh, we can also have, um, Presets of your infantrymen, your shotgun, your your armor class, your engineers, your snipers, your heavies. All this stuff here, if you don't actually build them now, the AI will apparently uh, just make stuff for you. But for now, let's go ahead and just give you that. So you've got that gun right there. That will be our basic dude for our defense. He's because a hammer fist, a uh, light... I should probably... No, I'm a human digger. We don't need any of that right now. So, what we have to do is we need some gold. So if we resume time... Well, actually, before we do that... Try to remember how exactly to build in our base. First thing we need to do is build up some resources in order to um, actually be able to... See, how do I actually do that part? I thought I knew. I was completely wrong. Okay, so resume time. Let's go resume time just a little bit here. So now these guys, you actually see, as time goes by, by the way, you're actually gaining resources based on how much time has passed. And then the AI will actually start building stuff and moving things around and all that sort of stuff. Now I need to remember how to build it's actually very, very important that we figure out how to build. So I can attack this mine, but I can't... Why would I attack my own mine? This is my base, is it not? I can go over here. I can build an HQ over here. Let's do that. Because we're actually attached to this area. Nobody owns this. As you can see, all these have little bases on them and stuff. Nobody owns this. It's right adjacent to my space. So, I, not my space, but, you know, it's over here by Facebook. And... <laughs> whatever I'm trying to say. And then I can build an HQ, and I now own that. Apparently, I do not own this one. I'm this side. Why am I red? I thought I was the blue. I figured I was. Okay, apparently I'm red. That's good to know. That explains why I couldn't figure out how to do this stuff. Okay, so this one right here. Should we set this is our main? Or this is our main? we got to set one of these as our main base. And then we can actually build stuff. That's actually what was wrong with it. I didn't know which faction I was, apparently. Uh, we're going to go with this one up here. Up north. The, the, we're going to defend the north. We're going to Game of Thrones this. And this will be our main base. We set a mine there. We now have... How much money do we have left? We have none. However, we are gaining 24 gold per day. So what do you say we start doing that? Resume time. And get us some gold. See, there you go. So we're actually gaining some there. So you go up to... Let's go up to 200 or so, and then see if we can actually build anything else now. We got a mine. We can actually upgrade our mine to actually get more gold per turn. Uh, let's see. Do we, do we, we have an HQ. Mine. Mine. Lab. How much... Let's see. Lab costs 3,000. Hospital costs 2,000. Airfield. I don't actually know what the airfield does. I'm assuming... If I recall, that will de decrease the time it takes for your resources to come in if you have it at a, um, a higher efficiency. Uh, more clones, probably lets you build people for less money or something. A factory, you get stuff. And targeting, I'm not entirely sure what that does. So we apparently need to upgrade our mine. We call, let's see, do this. There we go. Mine, wait, did I, did I sell it or did I upgrade it? I don't know at the moment. No, yes, no, I don't know. 
<laughs> Resume time! There we go. Really, right clicking does that. That's interesting. Ooh, your mind was attacked by Imperatus. Okay. What do you say we defend that? Here is our very first mission. You need 500 ounces to buy brain for this mission. Well then. <laughs> we don't have the money for that, so we're going to... Can I sell things? No. So we're going to ignore our very first conflict. They have broken some of my stuff. Um, I still don't have any money for that, so we're going to ignore that one too. Cool. Okay, so stop time. I'm not making any money now because they have broken my only money income. I think I actually sold my mine earlier. That's a problem. There we go. In just increase it to level 2. There we go. So now, <laughs> that's a bad start. I apologize, but we'll get there, don't you worry. As long as I have 500 gold, I'll actually be able to defend my base. I prefer not having to start this entire video over again. Okay, <laughs> so I have just under enough. Maybe if I, I take away this, instead of that... Okay, take you and give you this instead, perhaps? Can I, how do I undo you? Can I write, ooh. Oh, that's neat. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be how that works. Okay, so body's available. Go with you. Can I remove this? I just do like this to here. Give him nothing. I need to like take away his stuff. Uh, okay, so defender. Okay, I don't actually know how to fix this. I, I feel like I broke it. Okay, no, no. There's probably a button to do that. Hopefully they're not attacking my mind. I might be about to lose this immediately. What do you say we ignore this one go, and then now we have no money. That's cool. Stop time. Awesome. <laughs> uh, good good start, me. Your very first video on this channel, and you are failing miserably. But we now can get 40 gold per day. So what do you say we resume time and try to do it a little bit better this time? Come on. At least give me 500. I apparently, if I, I might need more now. I think I gave him more guns while trying to stop him from using guns. There we go. So now we will have the money to actually defend ourselves if anybody attacks. So let's get this up to, oh, 2,000 now. Because apparently that's an issue that we need to deal with. You have to 2,000 that will try to build something else. Ooh, so each HQ is attacked by the Imperatus. We can actually defend ourselves this time. And here we are. We are actually playing Cortex Command. Okay, so I actually have dudes. Okay, so infantry is up there. I guess I call in dudes using this. So let's do that. So I have, see, 436 ounces to call him in. And I've called him one there. I've called in one there. There we go. I believe. I think that's how that works. I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. So... Does it show a second still to get here? Deliver! Yeah, there we go. I'm going to go selecting what I'm delivering. There we go. Deliver them. Yes, eight seconds there. And this one is maybe deliver. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll, we'll learn together. There we go. So this one's coming on in. There we are. Can I take this? Yes, I can. I'm going to... Oh, I'm delivering two, three, four. Ooh, I've got a full squad here. Okay, yeah, stay. Mm, well, brain. Are you dying? Yes, you are. <laughs> well, then. That was unfortunate. It's very, very unfortunate, but I am going to fail this immediately. Well, there you go! This has been unmapped lands, because I feel like I might have just lost. Uh, your mission was a failure. Yep! <laughs> Wait, okay, so they attack that thing. Can I keep going, though? Can we keep going? No, I failed. Okay, cool! So, uh, hey, there you go. We're not ending it there. Don't worry. I spent a lot of time explaining things so we can get back up to that point super fast. That was a really bad first impression, but it fits me, I suppose. <laughs> just going in there and exploding. Continue. Let's just do new. Okay, so we're playing as this guy versus this guy, this guy, uh, this guy, and this guy. Here we go. This time, we know what we're doing. No worries. So which which team am I? Apparently, we also have uh, randomly selected places. Is this one mine? I am red, apparently. I would have thought I'd been a different color, but red's fine. We will go with red. All right, so first things first, we have a mine. Let's upgrade our mine uh, very heavily. So that's actually maxed out, it looks like. Let's build, let's see, a factory, a lab. Kind of want to do a lab so we can get some science in here. Let's get some, oh, we don't have the money for the science. Okay, so we have 53 income. There we go. So first things first, we're just going to get some monies. Actually, we have lots of money. Oh, huh. why can't I not build that stuff then? Or no, it cost 3,000, didn't it? That one costs 3,000 ounces, so let's get 3,000 ounces of gold. In fact, let's get more than that. I feel like we should probably go ahead and actually, since nobody else is, uh, you know, doing anything, I'm just going to go ahead and take this real quick. Go ahead and take that, build an HQ there, and build a mine, which costs 1,000 ounces. We'll just let that, uh, did I pause time? I guess I did. Didn't mean to pause time, but no, it's still going. Let's click this actually stop it. It does. Uh, strategy phase. Okay, so we'll just wait for this. We'll wait to get another 1,000 ounces of gold. And then, uh, slap down. Well, no. We'll get more than that. 
Because, see, they're all attacking each other, or they're putting down stuff. I don't know exactly what they're doing. I don't know which one's my ally, either. So you got one faction. It says blue, green, and yellow. But where is the faction I'm fighting with? Where are the the coalition? I don't know. I have no idea. All right, so as soon as we get enough, I need to be able to build up a thing here. Oh, there's some fighting going on right there. I can see I froze at mid-attack. Mid so mine costs 1,000, so we still have enough money to actually bring in troops. That's important. How much does this cost? Uh, let's see. Oh, no, that's, that's to reinforce. Reinforce mine, but didn't I get rid of it when I did that? Reinforce HQ. Do that. See, defender preset is not defined. Go to your equipment. Okay, so I need to def uh, set up my defenders. That's why it was doing that. Okay, so I haven't set up a defender yet. It's going to be you with this. There we go. So you're, you cost 230 ounces of gold. It shows it right there. So if I want to set this as my... Uh, main, and then, def let's see, reinforce, that actually, oh, that actually puts in dudes, oh, that's how that works, I can actually also defend the mine, they give another 261 ounces of gold, hey, there we go, so what do you say, we, we're only, we're only like 15, 16 minutes into this video, what do you say we go a little ways into this and see if we can actually, uh, make some progress, this actually seems like it'd be kind of fun, alright, so, how much money do I have currently, I have... Uh, almost 2,000. So let's just upgrade this a little bit. So upgrade is only a 100 apiece. There we go. We have now fully maxed out two of these, which, by the way, I don't know if I explained that very well earlier. If I upgrade my... Basically, each of these things that you build will give you different resources, which is why I think it's kind of XCOM-esque, but this, uh, this overworld map here feels very risk. And then the fighting is Cortex Command. That's what I was thinking sort of combined. Um, but the more that we upgrade our stuff the better our stuff will be. That was the dumbest thing I've said so far. <laughs> it's, um, the more resources, the more tech, the more various things we will get. So now we'll actually increase our science. So we have plenty of money. Well, not plenty of money. We got, we got some money. We're getting some money income here. And these are both maxed out, right? I cannot increase my, my money gain any further than that. But now we can actually go to our blueprints. I believe we actually have some science. We have 112 science. Can I get a medium digger? Because that's actually a really useful one. No, it costs 500, and a shield could actually be good in this stuff. Ooh, the flaming shotgun's really good, too. And so is this guy. So it costs 2,000. This costs 500. This costs 1,200. Okay, and the digger I also want as well. So, that okay, we got 2,000 now. Oh, no, we got 2,000 ounces of gold. We need a lot more science. So we should probably upgrade our science lab. So let's do exactly that there. How much money do I have? I'm down to 800. That should still be enough to defend myself if I get attacked. Plus, we're getting money really quickly. So there you go. So this ha this version of the game, this total conversion mod here of Unmapped Lands 2, Unmapped Lands, I can say that, um, is much more strategic than basic Cortex Command. M regular Cortex Command, if you're just good enough at playing the game... Um, which I have proven not to necessarily be, uh, but you can just kind of brute force your way through a lot of things. However, this, you, uh, you actually have to, like, take over stuff, and you have to, how much does this cost? 2000 for that, I will do that. And then you have to, um, just resource manage a lot better. It's, uh, it's actually pretty cool. I like it a lot. So there we go. Let's just do that. So we now own three sections. We just basically have the center. We've taken the whole middle of the planet, and I don't know which side is my enemies, so I'm just going to hold out here for the moment. Oh, resume time. Resume time. There you go. And um, get some resources and some funds, and our science is really cooking now. That's not, who cooks science? I don't know. Apparently, I do. Here we go. So let's do. We got a thousand science. I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade our. Ooh, the lab's already maxed out there. Let's buy a lab on this one, and then max out that lab. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh, not two hundred bucks. Okay, so no one attack me for the next uh, minute and a half. There we go. <laughs> for a few seconds. Wow, I'm getting money super fast now. I'm super down with that. All right, so increase your mine is maxed out there, too. That's so good. Okay, so now, while that's doing that, what do you say we try to unlock some things? There we go. Now we can actually see what we can unlock. All right, so here's our sniper rifle. That's really good. I'm trying to think. Now that we are not playing with infinite funds or anything like that, like I do often in regular base Cortex Command or the, uh, the campaign mode in Cortex Command, we will have fewer troops and we need to be more strategic with them because we cannot cheat in bombs or anything like that, which I, I kind of like. I kind of like that we're actually limited to our faction here, which is more limited, like I just said, but it's actually kind of cool. So, medium digger is actually good for uh, digging because any uh, gold you actually mine will actually be put into your overall funds in this area here, which is pretty cool. So that costs 500. This also costs 500. I've got 1,000. 
Maybe I'll go with a digger and a riot shield and give somebody a gun. Do we have a we don't have a regular gun though. Yeah, we do. We got a stinger right there. So we the same way we can dual wield. So do that one and that one. All right. So now back up from there, and now we're gonna go to our equipment. We're gonna set some here defenders, infantrymen. We got three different kinds, or two different kinds of infantrymen. All right. We're gonna have this guy here. We're gonna give him a see the which one's the stinger, 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 and riot shield. There we go. So that guy will now cost as much as that guy? That's interesting. Oh, no. I'm looking at the wrong piece. This part, I was looking at the same number down here. Got slightly less. But you are going to be basically that other guy and have one of those. Those are my two presets for infantrymen, which I will use to assault people with. And let's resume time and um, just do some stuff with that. So, now that we actually have uh, three, we fully upgraded all the, uh, we fully upgraded all the, 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 the mines. That's what I think of. I also just made, like, a weird mouse noise. There we go. When you say we reinforce our HQ, just a little bit, reinforce a mine, reinforce the lab. Let's try to do that for each of these. Give them one of each there. I don't know how much I'm actually wasting here. Not a lot. I actually have quite a bit coming in. There we go. Now that we've done that, what do you say we try an assault force? Because why not? Unless, unless... Hold on, let's hold on just a little bit longer here. And see how much it actually costs to get my sniper rifle. Because the sniper rifle will be really useful. 1,500. Okay. So let's hold out for a bit. Get a little bit more science. Because we actually have lots of fun. So let's just upgrade our labs a bit. So that's maxed out on that lab. We don't even have a lab here. It costs 3,000 for that. Let's Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. There we go. Continue time. Now I'm getting 33 science per turn. I don't know what the intel does. I think intel may be for like seeing their, uh, their map and not having it be uh, Fog of War-esque. I'm not entirely sure, but we now have 1,500, which means we can unlock our long shot. That's the sniper rifle for the brown goats. Go to our equipment. We will have our sniper dude right here. It's going to be you. Give you a long shot. There we go. He, still, he costs the most. He's only got one gun. I mean, the other guy also has one gun. One guy has a shield. So there you go. So now, now we, we'll give this to 10,000, and then we will assault somebody. And that is probably how we're going to end our first episode of Unmapped Lands. Let's go ahead and freeze time. Ooh, that's a lot of money. All right, so where should we attack? Should we go left or right? Should we take over the west or the east? I don't actually know which one's my ally faction. Let me go this way first. Let me go left. Yes, I can attack them. Cool, I can scan them if we have. Let's see, this is at the top. I was about to point out with my mouse up there. Um, so uh, scan sector, get intelligence data, and reveal fog of war for 1,000 intel points. It's efficient. Intel points uh, needed. Oh, I don't have a thousand intel points. Well, what do you say we do that then? We will get a thousand intel points real quick because we're actually really, really close. And there we go. Now we've got enough. Let's do that. Let's scan them right now. Wait. Point, I said I have a thousand. Oh, no, intel points, not science points. I don't have an intel center yet. All right, fine. We're going to attack with Fog of War because why not? So we should go for their HQ allows to take over this entire sector here. Let's attack the mine first and try to hinder their gold income, and then we'll attack the HQ. We're going to try to be strategic here. Okay, so assault team is not selected. Open assault team screen and select presets. Okay, so apparently we need to do that. Let's uh, stop time there. Probably under equipment. Uh, assault team. Which one's assault team? So engineer, armor, shotgun, presets. Here's defenders. How do I set my assault team? I don't know. Oh, assault team. Right there. All right, then. Uh, is it not these? Oh, Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so let's give you there. And so this one is you, this one is you, and this one is you. So we are now spending uh, 705 gold. We have plenty. Let's just do that again. So one shield in McGee, one dude with an assault rifle, and then one dude with a sniper rifle. There we go. I like, I like how they're all moving back and forth when I move the mouse around or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. Either way, oh, that's how you clear a slot. That's what I was looking for earlier. I'm sure somebody in the comments yelled at me. But um, it's fine. I completely understand. I missed that. That's my fault. So we're going to attack the mine. Now that we see, you can only attack territories near your main base. So it's not connected to this one. So I have to set this one as my main. And now I can assault them. There we go. Now I can attack the ruins. Or not the ruins, the mine. Oh, hello. Now barely we start with the brain. From what I saw, I mean, like I said, I watched some one else's video to learn how this worked. Um, apparently, uh, we're the only people who have a brain. Uh, I don't know why, but for some reason, the... Uh, See, sentry mode, go-to mode, just dig through all this stuff, get me some gold if you wouldn't mind. Apparently the human player is the only one that actually has a brain, and the AI does not have that. So we have 
Uh, we also have, so we have to destroy these. This is our main, this is how they're mining gold, apparently. But our ally has asked us to hack these consoles. So we actually have some side objectives on top of our main objective, which is pretty stinking cool. Also, apparently we didn't need to scan. Hello. How you doing? I've got a shield, thankfully. So what do you say we just uh, try to, oh, I wanted to wreck that on top of you. That would have been really fun. All right, so shield. We're actually using a shield for once in Cortex Command. Use a proper, oh, hello. Where did your shield go? Why did you put away your shield? That was really stupid. Hello? No, you're supposed to dual wield these. There we go. That was... I guess he was... Uh, well, he was reloading. He puts it away. That's really unfortunate. I do not appreciate that at all. How do I get you to come back? Hello? I don't know. It's just uh, time to shield bash. Time to use some uh, old-timey Cortex Command physics to uh, save my butt by smushing him into the floor. Or, or die in a horrific way. Let's not do that. Okay, so let's try to do this. So they will call in troops... Based on how much money they have, they can bring in as many as they want, I believe. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Ooh, that's a, nice, that's a good shot. There we go. So you reload, set up one guy here who has an assault rifle. We can make squads, by the way. Again, if you've never watched Cortex Command, I'm doing a lot of stuff here that I'm not actually uh, showing off, but you can actually make squads. Pretty cool there. What do you say we take this guy right here and go, we should really destroy that, but I really want to do the side objective as well, because why not? So shoot through the floor, because we can actually destroy the terrain, which is pretty stinking cool. All right, so reload that. Let's go up here and apparently assault these dudes. Your jetpack works really well here. I'm amazed. Maybe I just haven't used the Bronco codes in so long I forgot how well jetpack's supposed to work. All right, so hello. I do believe you're playing as um, machines. You will actually hack faster. But uh, these guys right here, probably not going to do a terrible job. So let's go to uh, sentry mode, make you not move, and look around at where the rest of the robots are. One right there, one right there. They're actually just posting themselves. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so, ooh, deliver. Oh, I can actually just call in more dudes. Can I? Oh, okay, pick one. Um, let's see, bad relations with somebody, infantryman. You apparently only call in an infantryman. Sure, let's do that. Let's call an infantryman. I'm fine with that. So there we go. In 22, 22 seconds, we'll get one. Wow, that is really slow. All right, cool. So actually taking over all these objectives and stuff may actually take a while. But you know what? That's kind of cool. Again, I've never actually played this, um, this mod here, so I'm totally down with that. Hey, there we go. So, oh, 525 ally points and 350 uh, intel points, and we got... 775 ounces of gold was stolen. Wow, you actually get to steal gold. I am totally down with that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and break our squad here. Uh, let's form a squad and then break the squad. Can we, okay, fine. Form the squad and unform the squad. There we go. And then you do that right there. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey. hey jump the guy. Just just drop the guy. There you go. Hello. Hello. Uh, apparently, there's nobody in here. I could use this. I'm curious if this works in this way. In base Cortex Command, I've never shown it off in Cortex Command. I tried to uh, in the final episode of my last channel, um, and I failed. But apparently in previous court No, it doesn't work in this one. Okay, go back to space before you crash and explode and kill my dudes, because you will. It happens a lot. Um, they will let you... If you steal an AI, uh, and then you, uh, like, in one of your ships, and then you take them back out again, they become yours. They become allies, which is uh, kind of cool. And I don't know if I've ever actually done it, but I've been told repeatedly that that's a thing that happens. But hey, look at that. It's actually a, uh, a big... It, it's got an animation to it. That looks really cool. I like that a lot. It actually broke way faster than uh, the video I watched of somebody else doing this. <laughs> I guess you should probably stop bringing that up. Because this is still totally new to me. I was just looking at some basic stuff to figure out what I was doing. And I feel like that was probably the right move. Because as you've seen, there's a lot of nuance to this. It's pretty cool. And um, I probably would have been pretty lost. So you say we go ahead and shoot that right there. So yeah, this entire thing that we're doing right now, this is all modded content, hello, they have a brain, I was wrong. I was lied to by a random person in video. How dare you, random guy that I don't know the name of. All I remember is you had a British accent. <laughs> That's all I got. Plus one. Why is it plus one? Oh, is that the gold? Are we getting, oh, this is gold income. So currently we have 12,000 gold, wow. And he's giving us more gold. So all the gold that our uh, miner here does, again, this is a basic Cortex command thing. You can actually mine for gold and put it into your funds. However, uh, because of this, um, Game type, it does that at the top left there. I can't actually point at it. Uh, we don't actually get to see any of that gold, but we did, because um, uh, we can't bring it in now. That's my point. We can't actually use it right now and uh, drag it into, um, well, I guess we kind of can, but it's putting it into a different uh, fund uh, pool. It's not your basic ones where I could just uh, basically bring up this. This right here is not how you work in this game. That's, where, that's all the mods I have. That's, uh, you can just call in anything, any bodies from... Any mod, these are all different factions, like, uh, where is it? 
Uh, there's there's that. There's that. I'm going to just look at GDI, Global Defense Initiative from Command and Conquer. Use call on any of those dudes. We, however, cannot do that because of the um, mode we are playing. Hey, there you go. He's apparently trying to shoot at the brain down there. We do not want that right now. I believe if we destroy that thing, we probably will end this mission. Or maybe destroying the brain is how you end the mission. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, oh, there's actually another one there. So let's go ahead and break this one. Oh, hello, platform. How you doing? Go ahead and break this one open. Do I actually get anything for breaking these? I was not paying attention. So let's see. Break that. You get nothing. Cool. I appreciate all that nothing that I just got. Okay, so you I move over to here. I think this may be the last of these hacking needles. Deedles? Doodles? <laughs> Deely doodles. Whatever I'm trying to say. I mean, it's not even a word anyway, but I ran together two nonsense words. I think that's the last of the hacking majors that we have to do. And once we do that, we will destroy that thing, and then we will see if we have to destroy the brain. I'm not entirely sure. Thankfully. Whoa, do not do that. Do not do that. That's... Okay, so for those of you who don't know, uh, that's the abyss. The brain was about to just drill into nothing. He was going to go to space China. But uh, then just fall to his doom, because there's literally nothing, there's no ground. You drill to the bottom, you fall and die. Unless they've changed how this mod works. Um, either way, get this right here. And that is that. We got some intel points. We didn't get any friend tokens. Because that's what I'm going to call them now, because it was like ally points, I believe. Alright, so, that is all of that. And now, this is our first guy, right? Yeah, well, the first first guy exploded. Uh, this guy right here is going to, one, kill that horrible, disgusting robot over there after I move down here and don't get shot anymore and then reload my gun. Hello, horrible, disgusting robot. How you doing? Gonna go up here and then rain destruction death down upon you. And then I'm gonna crush you with my big old brown coat butt. Or I'm just gonna... Hey, bro oh no, brown coat butt! Oh, your name became brown coat butt at the last second. Oh, well. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, he's got a different gun now. Did you steal my gun? Is that my dude's gun? That's super... That it was. It was my guy's gun. We're taking that back. We're taking that back right now. I don't know if I can shoot any money for these, but I'm taking that. Take this and that. And now, what do you say we go wreck our final objective over here? I'm going to take this pulse rifle, actually. My guys get a little heavier. Jetpack's not quite as effective. But hey, we get the... Yeah, there we go. We're going to break it with your own gun. How do you feel about that, robots? You probably don't like that at all, do you? Let's go ahead and break this open. And then we will see if this ends this mode. I'm not entirely sure because... Hey, yes, it did. Their brain explode. Their brain is totally fine, uh, but hey, we were victorious. So, yeah, you were victorious. Four units sold, 14 items sold. Um, maybe that's how many enemies there were left, including the brain and those... Look at those three dudes around there. And then we got some money. So, hey, we now own this area over here in which I can now just... Uh, oh, no, we don't. I'm wrong. We have to attack the HQ. But you know what? That seems like a good thing to do in our next video. So this has been more Cortex Command, or the first episode of Cortex Command on the brand new channel. So, hey, I hope you guys are excited. Cortex Command will be around, and we are going to be taking a look at more of Unmapped Lands 2 here. And next time, we're actually going to go attack that HQ. It's going to be a fun time, so I hope to see you in the next episode. But for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed some strategic Cortex Command action. Take care, and I will see you next time.